I have made some bad mistakes in my time, but that's breaks, and I'll bet I've had way more fun than you. Okay, hello there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Kip Does Stuff. Okay, today we've got a package from Sane Smart Jimitsu. Already cut it open because I'm very impatient, but let's pull up what we have inside a little box, and inside this box. The 5.5 watt laser module kit for the 3018 Pro, 3018 and 1810 Pro. Woohoo, aren't we excited? So, let's check out the manual. Here's the module and a pair of fancy goggles and all the mounting hardware. Let's see if we can put it on the machine. Okay, the first thing I need to do is remove the motor, spindle motor, and I'm not going to unplug it from the board, so I'm going to use a little tape to cover the ends here, and then the thing hanging off the side. Okay, next I'll just loosen this screw and hold the motor straight out to the top. You might have to pry this apart just a slight bit to get it loose. Okay, now we need to install the laser in the mount. There are four little grooves along here that the corner of the laser fit in. I've been watching videos on this laser for days and days. And no one's ever showed putting the laser in the mount. They always show using it afterwards. And I always wondered how the heck is it going to fit in there. So now we know. Put it in those grooves. And line it up. Okay, our next step is to mount the module onto our machine here. So we'll take screws and nuts that came with it and install it just like we did the first PCB board for the original machine. Okay, next we want to protect all of our wires with some of this plastic cable cover. So we'll install it on the ribbon that goes from the Control module to the board, and from the control module to the laser. Okay, there we go. Got the lead from the module to the laser finished. And now we can put our lead from the module to our PCB. Okay, move there laser module into the center here because this cable is actually pretty short. I want to make sure we ought to reach the full x-axis on both sides. I'm going to have to do a little work on the cable management. I don't like how it's all haphazardly put together so I'm going to try to move some of this around, get it look a little neater, and then put it back in position for my first test fire. Thanks for watching. 